Hey everybody, this is Mike from Audio Maniac, and I'm going to show you the Mini Grand, one of the new virtual instruments that comes in Pro Tools 8. It's part of the Creative Collection. So let's take a look around the interface first. Right here we've got our model selector. And what's interesting is they've mapped it so that turning the knob to the far left, you get kind of a darker sound with the highs a bit uh, attenuated. And just as an example, That's the far right, that's the dance setting. You can hear a substantial difference. In the middle we've got real, my favorite so far. And then next we've got dynamic response over here. Now, what this is, is if your MIDI controller likes to send out um, really strong, if it's sensitive to velocity, and it likes to send out really strong signals with, um, without you really you know, hitting the keys or the pads or whatever you're using very strongly, then what this does is this kind of levels out the velocity of the MIDI information, it kind of works in the way a compressor works for audio, only this is working on the MIDI velocity information. So by turning it up, it has full effect. And by turning it all the way down, with no filter at all, it, uh, you can hear a substantial difference. So I'm just gonna option click that. There we go. And that sounds pretty good. This is just the default setting right now. Okay, next I've got the tuning scale. Right now it's set for equal tuning. Now, stretched, you might be wondering what that is. Stretch tuning is the highs are a little bit brighter. And the reason for that is so that they are a bit more in tune with the lower frequency notes. But I'm gonna go ahead and set that back for equal. And a note really quick, you can really hear the stereo effect. So, our next section is the built-in reverb. Right now it's set for chamber. But you can, of course, adjust it. You've got the soft, bright, studio, chamber, hall, and ambient. to crank up the ambient all the way. And we'll add a bit more of the mix here. get the idea. Let's go back to our default settings. So, and of course over here we've got our level, our master level, and down here we've got our virtual keyboard where you can see the notes being played. And this little wrench right here, if you click it, you get the max polyphony 
And by turning this down, you can control how many voices can play at one time. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, if you have a machine that's a little bit slower or it um, has a little trouble, I guess, uh, maybe not enough RAM or something, um, if you find that the plugin is kind of lagging or you're getting latency, um, a delay between your hitting when you hit the note and when you hear it, you might try adjusting that. I really like to keep it up all the way though. I like having as many little overtones and resonance as possible when uh, I do any piano stuff. Now over here we've got the echo mode. Now over here we've got the echo mode, which stands for economy mode and by clicking it on it allows or it causes the plugin to be a little more CPU efficient so um, I'll go ahead and click that off I got a pretty fast machine all right and the other thing about this um, is you get 30 built-in presets and of course you can't see them right now. There you go. There's some. How about Hotel Atrium? And let's try another one. Let's try Gentle piano. Let's see what happens with that. And uh, let's try one more. Let's try empty stadium ambience. So that should tell you right away, you're gonna be in for a lot of reverb. Oh yeah. And uh, the reason everything I play kind of sounds the same is because I don't know how to play piano. Anyways, so I think this is a great little instrument. And best of all, it's free with uh, anybody who upgrades to Pro Tools 8. I even think it sounds pretty good on its own. No, oh, except when I play it, it is. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.